right, Metallica. Welcome home, Sanitarium, off the Master Puppets record. This is going to be Kirk Hammett's intro guitar solo. The song is in standard tuning, key of E minor. I broke this solo down into seven licks. We'll take them one lick at a time, slow them down, give you some pointers where I think you might need them. The solo opens with an E minor nine arpeggio. Now, E minor nine is the first chord in the main riff to the song. Second fret A, fourth fret D, open G. He's just playing it an octave higher. And then landing on that E note at the second fret of the D string. Now he's palm muting that first note because you can kind of hear that clunk, that. your palm on the bridge. If you go too far back, it really doesn't do anything. And if you go too far forward, you don't even get a note. You gotta, you gotta find that sweet spot. So he palm used that first note. And he's just arpeggiating 12 on the low E, 14 on the A, 16 on the D, 12 on the G, and then landing on that E note. 14th fret of the D string. And he's going to pick that note again before moving to the 12th fret of the G. And next is your climb. Now, if you use specific fingers for this climb, it's going to be a whole lot easier and make a whole lot more sense. So, I would use my ring finger for the slide on the 14th fret to the 16th fret on the G string. Then you've got your middle finger right here, free, doing nothing, to hit the 15th fret on the B slide up to the 17th fret of the B. And then same thing, your pointer finger's here, doing nothing, hanging out. Use it for the 15th fret to the 17th fret on the E string. And he kills that note once he slides to it. And then picks it again with healthy vibrato. So all together. It's just a more logical way of playing that. one all together again. All right, lick two. I've seen this played so many different ways and they're all wrong. <laughs> this is how Kirk plays it. He uses dyads, so he's essentially harmonizing with himself. Dyads are groups of two notes. I see it tabbed a lot where it's just single notes. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you a link to an isolated guitar track to where it's, there's no drums, no bass. And you can just hear his guitar track playing this solo. And you can clearly hear he's playing these dyads. And you're going to start. It's, it's, up there, it's up there on the dusty end. 20th fret of the B with the 19th fret of the high E. You're going to pick that twice. And then you're going to move it down 17th fret of the B, 15th fret of the high E. Pick that once. They're going to slide that shape up two frets to 19 on the B, 17 on the high E. So, so far we've got... Thank you. 
then he's going to scoot back to the 15th and 17th fret. He's going to slide. He's going to pick that shape, slide it up to the 17th and 19th fret, and slide it back down. Now, somewhere along the way, he kind of loses this high note, if you listen real close to the isolated track. But that's what he's shooting for. Just one of those. Picking it once. Sliding up, sliding it down. And then you got one more dyad, 15th fret of the B, 14th fret of the high E. He picks that once. And then he does a little walk down, 17, 15, 13, 12, all on the B string. So that lick all together. Slower and quieter. Lick three. Kind of pick up where you left off. You're going to start on the B string. And give a little hammer and pull. 12th fret, hammer on to the 13th fret, pull off to the 12th fret. So you're only going to pick the first note and give it a... After that, you're going to land on the 14th fret of the G string. Move down to the 12th fret of the G with your first finger. Pick it, slide down to the 11th fret. Middle finger, next string down, D string, 12th fret. And I use my pinky to grab the 14th fret of the A string. Go back up to the 12th fret of the D, middle finger, pick it and slide it up to the 14th fret, and then give it some vibrato. All together. Slower and quieter. Lick four. So this is a this is a high triad, sixteenth fret of the G, seventeenth fret of the B, nineteenth fret of the high E. You're just going to pick through every note individually. You don't want them to ring together. If you can work it in there, give it a little shake. Then you go right back down it. So far we've got... And you're going to slide down a whole step to the 14th fret of the G. And then the same shape that you did up here, once you slide down to the 14th fret, it's the same shape, 14th fret on the G, 15th fret on the B, 17th fret on the high E. You're going to climb it. You can barely hear that on the recording, because I've seen a lot of people go... But it, he fits it in there. So slowly. You pick every note. You don't have to sweep through them because you, you don't want you don't want them ringing together. You just want to hear. All right, lick five is the continuation of that lick. Lick four, where we're going to do a little backwards run, starting on the high E, 17th fret, 15th fret, 14th fret. Move that down a string to the B, same thing, 17, 15, 14. Go to the G, 16th fret, 
14th fret. When you get down to the, you're going to slide down to the 12th fret, bend it all the way up a whole step and back down. Vibrato. So all together slow. So lick four and lick five together, slowly. All right, two more licks and we got it nailed. Here's lick six. It's gonna start with an A minor arpeggio. It goes by pretty quick. Let me turn this down a little bit. So, if you know an A minor chord, it's the D string, G string, B string, and high E string, just played an octave higher, and of course we're going to change the way we finger it because we got to hold it all down. You can use any fingers you want, but it's going to be the 14th on the D, the 14th on the G, the 13th on the B, and the 12th on the high E. So it's just this little A minor chord. But you're going to pick every note individually pretty quickly. I use alternate picking, down, up, down, up. Just take it slow and practice it. You could even use a finger to do both the 14th fret notes on the D and the G. You could kind of roll your finger. When you get to that last note on the 12th fret of the high E, you're gonna scoot down to the 10th fret of the high E and do a hammer pull. You're gonna pick the 10th fret Hammer to the 12th and pull off. You just pick the first note. And then 13th fret on the B to the 12th fret of the B. So all together slow. Lick seven, last lick. These are these cool little arpeggios. I've seen them tabbed wrong so many times. This is how Kirk plays it. I've found this to be the easiest way to play it as well. You're gonna slide into the 12th fret of the A to the 11th fret of the D. So I'm using my middle finger for the first note my pointer finger for the second note. Pinky, 14th fret, G string. You're gonna do the same thing, just two frets lower. You're gonna slide into the 10th fret, 9th fret on the D, 12th fret on the G together, then go back to that first shape, slide into it, and instead of going to the high note, you're just going to hit that open low E. And you're done, homie. You played the solo. One time slow. Great solo.